Okay, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I just started the stream. Ooh. Oh my god. Can you- I can't- I literally- Um, so guys, the reason that this stream is so late, obviously, I came home today. I'm not even joking. I came home right from school. I walked through the door and there's my brother in the kitchen saying, We just made a trade. The first question out of my mouth was, was it Taylor Hall or was it Kyle Palmieri? Because I knew it was going to be one or the other. Yo, what's up, guys? How you doing? I knew it was going to be one or the other, but um, honestly, out of the two, I wanted Palmieri. I know a lot of people were like, Taylor Hall, Taylor Hall, Taylor My brother was a Taylor Hall. He wanted Taylor Hall. Personally, for me, the better fit on the team, and if you guys saw me in the Hot Take Hockey stream, you saw me arguing about this, I thought Palmieri would be a better fit. And here's the thing. And it happened. The Islanders trade with the New Jersey Devils. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna get it all up so it's nice front center about what's going on exactly with this trade. This way I don't um, miss anything. If I can see, there we go. The Islanders tr uh, get Kyle Palmieri and Travis Zajac from the New Jersey Devils in exchange for forwards Greer, Yapst, and the Islanders' first round and fourth round pick. First round pick in 2021 and a conditional fourth round pick in 2022. Uh, the Devils as well retain 50% salary of Zajac and Palmieri. I love this trade. I'm going to tell you now, I love this trade. Uh, yes, it did cost us a first. I'm going to be talking more about why I think it cost us a first. But when can they play for the Islanders? As soon as tomorrow. Guys, they will be at morning skate tomorrow with the New York Islanders. That has been confirmed. Uh, I believe via, uh, via the uh, Devils GM, uh, Fitzgerald. I think he, they're going to be at morning skate tomorrow. So they could play tomorrow night. The first time we see them could be tomorrow night, guys. Like, that's how soon. But here's the thing. Um, the conditional round pick, the fourth round pick, the condition is if the Islanders make it to the Stanley Cup final, that fourth turns into a third round pick. The Islanders can choose. Uh, that's what that's about. Um, here's the thing. Um, oh, you know, we were in the Taylor Hall race and things like that. Lou did the better deal. It is still... The Sabres demand that they get a first round pick and a prospect to get Taylor Hall. And I'm just not having it. That is not happening. I think Lou did the correct thing here. I think he did a great thing here. Uh, Kyle Palmieri and Travis Ajak can really, really add to this team. And I really think we'll love the Barry Trot system. If you've seen on Twitter, Kyle Palmieri is stoked to be coming here. And Travis Zajac, you know, he's 35. He's in that range where he's like, it's a now or never situation. I want to win. This team looks like they can win. So I'm very excited to see that happening. Where is your vlog for the Capitals versus Islanders? Um, I, I didn't do it. I just enjoyed the game. <laughs> I enjoyed a game. Sorry. Uh, big simpin. Yo, Rocha, what a trade. What a trade. Here's what I'm excited for about Kyle Palmieri and Travis Zajac. Um, losing Anders Lee. I think Kyle Palmieri is a perfect fit for an Anders Lee position on that first line. He is someone who, ha he has pretty much the same skating ability as Anders Lee, but they have the same mentality of net. They love to crash the net. Tra that's what, that's what Kyle Palmieri does. He crashes that net and he puts those pucks in. And what does Barzell and Eberle love to do? They love to get those pucks in front. I really think Palmieri can be that guy to, you know, stay in that crease, stay in front of the goaltender, be that, uh, that screen while also, you know, jabbing those pucks in. I really think, and honestly, anything's better than damn Leo Komarov. So, you know what? Super excited about someone like Kyle Palmieri up there on the first line to help, uh, that forward push. And then you're talking about Travis Zajac. He, to me, could be perfect on the third line. Uh, Travis Zajac, obviously a veteran presence. Uh, and someone to work with J.G. Pajot because J.G. Pajot has really been working with either Leo Komarov or working with kids. Like, he's someone to help, you know, raise them up. So this is where I feel like J.G. Pajot could really have some good support here and really, um... Play line to line with him and Wallstrom. Wallstrom, Pajot, uh, Zajac. I really think could be gorgeous. Uh, a gorgeous line. And I really think he can help that line too. And um, Zajac too has a defensive state of mind, which you know Barry Trotz loves that. 
Zajac is very good defensively, and I think he could be a real big help there too. And you know what? But beefing up our defense, honestly, don't, I think that's a good thing. I think that's, you know, he can't get worse by beefing up the defense. What do I think of Zarnik? Meh, he's okay. I really didn't see anything spectacular from Zarnik um, when I saw him play. Uh, eh. Underratedly, the Devils gave us the ab ability, I'm guessing, to make the trade because the M14 knocked Lee out. Yeah, exactly. I even think about that. I even think about that the, the reason Lee is out is because of the Devils. Oh, that's funny. But yeah, everyone's joking, you know, the New, the New York uh, Devlanders. But honestly, it's great, you know, there's going to be that chemistry on the team when they play together. And honestly, I really do think they can bring so much and they're excited to come here. Zajac literally waived a no trade clause to come here. A full no trade clause to come here and play. Like, that's... That speaks volumes. That definitely speaks volumes. But they have to sign both Sejak and that I know I know Nikki, but here's the thing, I don't this is just for now. This is for this run. You I'm not thinking long term. Honestly, do I think Palmieri and Zajac stay long term? No. But I I don't think they're gonna stay long term. They're gonna be UFAs at the end of the season anyway. They can go anywhere. They can get the deals they want. This is for the chance to win the cup. This is the final push. This is about getting all of your assets together and going for it. Because now we can. That's why we needed to do this. This is about, you know, we lost someone great like Lee, but it has given us the opportunity to bring in more players who can help us achieve our goal. And that's what I love about Zajac and Paul Mary coming in here. Whew. So yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm excited about to see from this team. Uh, if you guys know, I had him on my podcast before, Neil uh, Villapiano. He was on... Um, we, we were doing a podcast. We just recorded it. That's why I'm a little bit late tonight. We just recorded for an hour of his podcast. That will be coming out about our raw emotions about this trade and what he's feeling as a Devils fan, what I'm feeling as an Islanders fan. So that's going to be coming out, I think, tomorrow. Uh, I'll talk to Neil more, but you'll definitely see it on my Twitter. So definitely follow me on Twitter, guys. If you haven't, if my mods could put that in, thank you. Uh, but you guys will definitely see it on Twitter. You guys, if you want the big uh, updates with me, if you want, what's going on? What am I talking about? Twitter. I am your girl. Bo, Pelic, and Sorokin priorities this offseason. Absolutely. Um, are, are, am I getting his jersey? No, James. Uh, James, I'm not getting their jerseys. Um, I love that they're coming, but I, I'm, number one, I'm broke. Number two, um, Honestly, like, with Pajot, I love, I love Paul Marion. I love his passion, but, like, Pajot signed for six years, so I was like, oh, if I get a Pajot jersey, at least he's gonna stay. I'm not seeing Paul Mary or, or Zajac staying. Maybe Paul Mary if he signs cheap, but uh, I would say, um, it's, it, it's gonna be like, you, you get it, and then they leave. You're here during commercial break for the Blues game. How are they doing? Love the deal, but are you concerned about the Islanders cloning the Devils? No. The Rangers cloned the Oilers in 94. No one said anything when they won the cup. <laughs> Kim not getting a New Jersey for the trade from Jersey. <laughs> New Jer ha ha ha. What section do I sit? Uh, tomorrow? Where am I sitting tomorrow? I am sitting April 8th. 2.15. I'm going to be in 2.15 tomorrow. Hell of a trade by the... Uh, yeah, honestly... This trade to me is so good. I'm very happy with this trade. Lou did what was best for the team. And that was this trade, this deal. The Hall trade, what they want still, it's not going to happen. Honestly, I would love to see someone like Boston give up like a first rounder for Hall. Honestly, I think I would kind of like chuckle if they actually do that. I, I just, I don't see... <sighs> Especially for Taylor Hall, who's just not having a year. I mean, yes, it's Buffalo, but honestly, I just don't see. I, I, there's something inside me, guys. And you know what? You know how to hockey prove it with evidence. Sometimes it's just a gut feeling. I had a good gut feeling about Paul Mary. I did not have that for Taylor Hall. And sometimes you just gotta go with your gut feelings and rather than statistics and points. I don't know why I felt that, but I just I did, and I felt I felt. 
a good gut feeling about Palmieri. I'm glad we got him. I think it's the right choice. I think it was the right trade. I'm happy about it. Imagine trading a first for a forward who has two goals. <laughs> oof. It's, oof. I would have loved Eichel to come, uh, you know what? Eichel would have been cool, but I, I just couldn't see it happening. Again, I would love Philip Forsberg, but again, it's just like, with price and range, that was not gonna happen. Luckily, the Islanders made it something happen. Lou literally said in a tweet that he felt like he owed it to the team to make a big trade like this one. I'm glad this year we're not waiting till the de trade deadline. We're happening just before the trade deadline happens. It is done. It is over with. And you know what? These are two players. I'm excited. They've proven themselves in the league and I feel like they can be great assets to giving us a long run. So this is going to be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun, Tommy. In my opinion on jerseys, you should always get retired players because they can never get traded. Well, y <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can definitely do some retired jerseys. I know my mom still has her Nystrom. Um, I have a I have a Butch Goring. So, you know what? Hello, Aiden. I get you're a Rangers fan, but try not to spam the chat. I hope Paul Mary scores tomorrow like JG did in his eye. Oh my god, AJ, you just reminded me about that. Definitely, man. Oh my god, when... I saw you not even that he scored I did he have a court he I don't he was this close to having a Gordy Howe hat trick but he scored he got into a fight uh I don't know if I don't think he got an assist that night but god he was close uh but damn he was <laughs> he was so great in his debut I would love for them to debut tomorrow man I hope they do if I could hear Trot say tomorrow morning that they will be in the lineup I'm going to go nuts uh, nah, Tommy Merling is, I just hope the Islanders kill a Giov Georgiev. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Nolan. Yes, it's Butch Goring and it's only Butch Goring forever. <laughs> but I had to talk about this trade. I'm so stoked, guys. Uh, I'm going to give you straight verbatim quotes from the players. Because I love them. I love these quotes. Um, Kyle Palmieri from uh, Joe Pantorno says, When I kind of heard of the Isle that the Isles were could be an option, I couldn't have been more excited. As the days wore on here, there was a little bit of anxiety in terms of waiting for that call. I got the call tonight, and it was difficult to contain the excitement. Guys, <laughs> this is about the New York Islanders. Let me remind you, this is my team that no one wanted to play for for the past two decades of my life. Having players literally say this. And then you go from there, um, you go to Travis Ajak from Molly Walker who says, let me just start off by saying I'm extremely excited for this opportunity. At this point in my career where I'm at, I wanted a chance to win. And I just believe that this team that has all the, this is a team that has all the aspects of winning. <sighs> Bruh. So, I, I don't know if I talked about this before. I'm just going to say it again because I know I said it on Neil's stream. So, the reason for the first, because at first when I saw we gave up a first round pick for Palmieri and Zajac, I was like, really? Not our seconds? But here's the thing. What I think what happened with the first is we they were going to give us Palmieri and we were going to give them uh, Yops and uh, Greer. Uh, and probably a second. And the Devils probably said, no, we want a first. And Lou said, I'm not giving you a first unless you give us more. I think that's really what happened there. And not only that, I think the first, we're giving up a first for, uh, Hot Take Hockey said it, for the 50% retention. But also, I think, because we got that little bit more, because we got Zajac. I think that little bit more, uh, of adding Zajac to the deal, because Zajac was never supposed to be a part of this deal, guys. It, they said the the Devils, um, with I said with Neil, they said the Devils that morning did not see him at practice and they went something's up. And I think it's because Lou turned around and said, if we give you a first, we need more. And I love that he does stuff like that because I love that we can have someone that's really solid on that third line with Pajot and Wallstrom. You know, obviously it's been jumping around with Zarnik, Dal Cole, now Dal Cole's hurt. It's been Komarov, it's been Belos. It's been a lot of, you know, turning around in that position. I would love to have a really solidified third line that, you know, can gain more chemistry. The turnaround, absolutely, AJ, it's been nuts. 
Uh, Isles, uh, let me tell you, like, I, I, I have never been more excited for a, an Islanders team to go into playoffs. And I, that's saying something because I love this team back in 2019. But I've never been more excited or semi-confident in the Islanders to go into a playoff series than I have this season. I, 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 it's nuts to think about it. It's nuts to think about it. That the Islanders couldn't be a cup contender. What? What? That, that's my whole life. No, like, I don't even like saying those words because I feel like I'm going to jinx it, number one. But number two, it's like, growing up, I was like, how are we doing, dad? They're like, we're in last. I was like, oh. (laughs) <laughs> like, I remember being bottom of this league, bottom barrel team, the laughable New York Islanders, never going anywhere with Garth Snow, Jack Capuano, Span- everything that happened in the 90s, Spano, Fishermans, to finally, like, being in a place where I can finally say the Islanders could, I'm gonna say could, be Stanley Cup contenders. I can't. I can't stress enough how that makes me feel to even say. This, I believe Lou did a great trade. I'm very happy with him as my GM. I really think he really did the best thing for this team at the moment. And that was that trade. I couldn't ask for more from him, honestly. I did see that Prince Chicken Wings. I did see uh, about that Fitzgerald saying about that he hopes it's the 32nd overall. And honestly, people were like, oh, he's so soft. You know, he's just giving up on the team. Honestly, though, the Devils are not going to make it to the Stanley Cup Finals. Like, guys, like, and honestly, giving up these guys, he's kind of giving them a chance to something they didn't have on the Devils. It's a tiff of hat to respect to the Islanders, but basically he's doing the good thing for the Devils because they gotta they gotta rebuild. They gotta start from the ground up. And they're getting these young guys, they're getting these picks because they need them. So you know what? It's like, he, he's like, you know what? Hats off to the Islanders and I hope they do well because he knows that he's gotta restart there. And so you know what? You might as well give it to your veterans and tip the hat. And so I appreciated that from Fitzgerald. I really did. They still have some more cap. We do have three mil. I don't see... I Honestly, people are saying, oh, the Islanders aren't done. I think the Islanders are done. I think the Islanders are done. I don't see us doing any more after this. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't. I think the Islander... I think Lou is done. And I don't see what more we could possibly do. But I think Lou is done. Who knows? Lightning might lose before we get a chance to play them. Yo. <sighs> Do you think Lou is finished making moves? If not, oh, I literally just answered that. <laughs> Crazy dog. I like how like I literally just answered that. That's hilarious. Right as I read it. Um, Kim, you have just as much passion as the play. Thanks, Jeff. It's always good to see you in here, Jeff. Man, good to see you as always. But guys, it's just been it's it's, it's been up, down, and everywhere, upside down, and it's so feels so good to finally be in a good position from one amazing uh hockey ch- on oh, the uh i assume you feel amazing about the move i do i really do feel great about this move i'm excited for them to wear new york islanders jerseys they're going to be able to wear both their numbers because number 21 and number 19 are both available on the new york islanders so i'm ex- i'm really hope we get to see them play tomorrow because i'm going to be at that game i really hope we get to see them play tomorrow oh my god guys i gotta make signs i gotta make signs for them man I got, I mean, I gotta make a sign for them just in case they're coming. Like, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, no problem. No problem, Harry. (laughs) Harry, I appreciate it, man. Too bad they couldn't wear the reverse retro. 19, no we. Oh my god, a Poso. Yeah, the last person that wore 21, I think, was Kyle Poso. Wow. Yeah, I literally said Crazy Dog, they will be at Morning Skate. They will be in Morning Skate. I don't... Unless Barry Trotz thinks they need more time to meld with the lines, I think we're going to be seeing them play tomorrow. I know, Damien. I think they said, hopefully, like, we're gonna get it to 33% soon, so... (laughs) What's 9 plus 10? 21. (laughs) (laughs) Who's gone first, Mayfield or Bailey? 
Mm. Out of Koivula, War 21. Oh! I didn't remember Koivula. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Rip. We may trade Mayfield. I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> I know it's probably sad to say, but... Can we get Devon Taves back? <laughs> Can we please get Devon Taves back? I miss him. If you had to choose to lose an Islanders player to Seattle, who would it be? If I had to choose. You know what? Question for chat because I'm kind of curious. I should have asked Neil. Because we now have... Paul Mary and Zajac going UFA. Could Seattle take them as a pick from the New York Islanders? Is that a thing? Since we just traded for them? Yo, if they could take stone hands, my life would be complete. <laughs> yes, they could. But they would need to sign. Got it. Got it, got it, Jordan Addy. Got it, got it, got it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was like, I'm pretty sure they could trade Mayfield for Hamannick. Uh, no, uh, Bear. Uh, no, because Hammer left because he wanted to be closer to home. I don't see why Hamannick would come back when he literally left the Islanders because he wanted to be closer to home in the first place. I don't see us going after Hamannick. Hamannick is not going to want to leave. I don't think he'd be happy here. To come back. And I'm going to be honest. I would get rid of Ajo. I, <laughs> once upon a time. Not long ago. <laughs> Jornati knows what I'm talking about. Okay. Man we need the boys back. I hope to Christ the Kraken take your mod. <laughs> Yay. What's up star boy. Lowell <laughs> take him and Hick. <laughs> Was Leo actually third star at the game last week? Possibly. He did a good pass. I don't remember. Bodie Wild might go to the Kraken. Bodie Wild? Mm. Um, he just scored today. He just scored today. I mean, the, the Sound Tigers got destroyed. But he did score today. So, EDP 44.5 is a Penguins fan now? That's a big uh, username. <laughs> I don't know, Robert. <laughs> no problem, TFS. Thanks for coming through, man. Mike Fiore, good to see you, man. Can the Bruins just l just loss, just lose, <laughs> so we can get Islanders Rangers round one? <laughs> Yo, that would be an insane playoff series, but I don't think Rangers fans would be too happy because we'd win. <laughs> Palfi was the great. Palfi was a greatest Islander. Palfi was great. He was a great Islander. Was he one of the greatest? I don't think so, but he was a great Islander. What was the score? The last time I checked, it was like 7-2 to two with the Bridgeport Sound Tigers game. Yeah, it was not gorgeous. Sound Tigers. Game. Let me see if I can get the score for you guys. I is no good at English. <laughs> uh, man. Okay, so what's today? Wednesday, April 7th, right? Yeah, that's today. Um. Blah, 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 blah. Why is it not giving me damn updates? <laughs> Here, Sound Tiger. I'm gonna just do their uh, Twitter. But the last time I checked it was 7 to 2. Yep, 7 to 2 Hartford. Jeez. Okay. Because my phone hates me? Yeah, yeah, it does. It really does. But yeah, no, I'm just so stoked about this. Uh, I mean, I've talked about the trade. Um, I'm going to be talking about it more on Sunday. I promise you guys I will be talking more about the trade Sunday during the pod. So that will be coming. I'm going to be talking about this last week with the Islanders, uh, everything that's been going on. I believe Sunday we play the Rangers. So I'm um, going to be talking about that game. Definitely that's going to be the freshest that night. But it's going to be interesting. 
It, this trade, I, I'm so excited to see. I really hope they're in the lineup tomorrow. I am will jump with joy if they're in the lineup. I don't know, Connor. Friday we play. Yeah, Friday and then Sunday, I believe. I can't go to the game. I know they're home games, but I'm not able to go, and I'm very sad. Are you streaming Sunday? Are you? Go I'm going to be stream. Uh, I'm going to be streaming. I will be coming off work though, so I won't be streaming the game. I'll just be doing the pod. How long have I been alive? Twenty one years. You got my flyers tomorrow. Yes, I do. I do have your flyers tomorrow, Rickle Pick. I do. Oh God, John! Oh my God, John! Oh my god, we're getting a hot take hockey raid in here right now. Oh my god, I might have to re-talk about the trade now. Yo, what is going on, guys? John, you're a freaking legend. I love you. Oh my god, HTH, John has sent us. Yo, this is nuts right now. Oh man, thanks, Blair. Thank you for subbing. It's so appreciated, guys. Welcome to my little channel, Isles Girl 3. Spike that like if, <laughs> if you're here, man. Leafs lost? Did the Leafs lose? Oh man, poor John. Oh man. I just didn't realize John was right in here. <laughs> oh my god. This is nuts. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's go. No, the Leafs won. Okay, good. Okay, good. So John, no wonder John's so hyped. Let's go. Leafs won. The Leafs beat the Habs. Oh, Harry Rice is not going to be happy, but I'm happy. I mean, John's happy. His boys won tonight. I'm happy. My Islanders did a great trade, in my opinion. I'm really happy with this trade, guys. If you want my, you know, just down-to-earth takes right now, really happy with the Islanders. Uh, Taylor Hall is way too much, honestly, in my opinion. Uh, Islanders, Kyle Palmieri is a great uh, replacement spot for that Anders Lee position. A guy who's, you know, skating-wise is the same as Anders Lee, and I call him Stone Feet. But honestly, as a guy who knows how to crash the net, he's someone who gets in that crease, screens, he knows how to get those pucks to the net. Honestly, hasn't had too bad a season. I believe he's got like 15 points, like 7 goals. Um, I think he's got 7 goals and um, blanking on assists. I can't do math. But, <laughs> like, eight assists. Uh, but still, I'm curious to see how he can do that. And Zajac, good defensive player. Someone who has a veteran stone feet and stone hands. Yes, Leonard Man. But honestly, I'm curious to see how he, uh, Zajac, uh, does in that third line with JG Pacho. Pa uh, nine assists. Thank you. Thank you, John. 17 points. Okay, I thought he had 15. Thank you, John. Um, but I think uh, Zajac can be really great with Pajot. Pajot has been playing a lot with the younger kids and developing players. Uh, obviously, he has Wallstrom on this line who's been doing pretty well. But honestly, I'm very curious to see how Zajac will play on that Pajot. So this is my lineup predictions going into tomorrow. If they play. Palmieri, Barzell, Eberly. Second line is going to be the same. Beauvillier, Nelson, Bailey. Third line, Zajac, Pajot, and then um, Wallstrom, your fourth line equals MC squared, Sezikis, Clutterbuck, and Martin. So you, that's what I'm expecting for that. That's what I would love for that those lines to be tomorrow if they play. Because it is, they did say via um, Fitzgerald that the Palmieri and Zajac will be at the Islanders morning skate tomorrow. Uh, so I'm excited to see pictures from that, but I'm really, yo, what's up, Sing? what, uh, hi, I'm new, what's your name? My name's Kim, by the way. My name is Kim, uh, so if you want to just address me by Kim, like how hot take hockey's John, I'm Kim. Uh, <laughs> but I really think this was a great trade for the New York Islanders. I don't think Zajac is going to be on the third line. I think he's going to be on the third line. I'm going to tell you now, the, the chemistry between the second and fourth is something you just can't break up. I really do see Zajac as on that third line. Honestly, it's the Dal Cole, Bellows, Zarnik. That's that spot that's been turning around. And honestly, if Leo Komarov, Leo Komarov needs to get off. <laughs> um, who's your favorite non-Islanders player? Robin Leonard. Don. Robin Leonard. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Matthew scored his 28th goal of this year. Well, Matthew's insane, so I'm not shocked. Honestly, if... There goes a game where Marner or Matthews doesn't score. It surprises me. Honestly, yeah, in toy department, I said this before, and John, you missed this. 
I would switch Bailey to the left wing so Palmieri can be in his comfortable side. Not sure that Trotz will do it, but I do. But I would do Bovillier, Barzell, Eberle, and then maybe. Honestly, I can see that too, John. I can possibly see that too. I could see them moving Bo with uh, Barzell, but honestly, the thing that I'm what I'm putting Palmieri with Barzell is because Palmieri is such an Anders Lee type player, and Barzell is so used to a player like that. Those guys like to put the pucks towards the net for the tips and assists for like someone like Anders Lee. That's the only reason I put Palmieri on that first line. Say Jack in the third and PK. Yes, he would be a great P PK piece. Palmieri may be a good power play piece, but I don't think he'd be switching up um, special teams that fast. Favorite player that never played for the Islanders? <laughs> that never played for the Islanders? Hmm. That's a good question. It's hard because those. <laughs> um. <laughs> this is really difficult, actually. I don't know. I don't have one. I'll think about it. Can't hate on Uncle Leo. Yes, I can. <laughs> you want to talk about a great thing? I was reading The Athletic today by Arthur Staple, and I, he was talking about having... I had to read it because he was talking about Komarov being on the first line with Matthew Barzell and what he added to it, and I was like, I need to read this article, guys. I need to read this article. And Arthur Staple... <laughs> wrote, I, uh, this is my favorite quote from any I, ar athletic article I think I've ever read. He literally wrote, when talking about Komarov's play, which can sometimes look like a five-year-old just grabbed an Xbox controller for the first time. <laughs> that is Leo Komarov in a nutshell. Uh, I've seen literally Leo Komarov skate into Barzell and get in his way. Like, <laughs> Does he have his moments? Yes, but it's mm, stone hands. Palmieri is better as a perimeter and goal scorer, but yes, can also drive the net. He's a lot smaller than Lee, though. Honestly, so is Pajot, and look how much he's brought. And uh, Anders Lee's out for this. Yes, torn ACL. Yes. Leo should be an enforcer if you think he has stone hands. Uh, l listen, uh, the reason I call him stone hands is because uh, just puck handling, non-existent for Leo. He has his moments, though. Like, uh, when we played the Capitals, uh, last Thursday, and we won 8-4, to four, like, his, the, it was so funny because right before we scored that goal with, uh, Leo Komarov to Eberle, got, me and the guys behind me in our section were shitting all over Komarov, and then he did that, and we were like, oh, so that's how you get him to play, you just talk shit about him. Because <gasps> after we had just talked about how bad he is on the ice, he, he did that beautiful pass to Eberle for the goal, and I was like, oh. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I know, Nije. I think Lou is a trick up his sleeve. Uh. He shut you guys up, huh? Yes, he did. <laughs> Who's better, Matthew Barzell or Austin Matthews? Marco, that's really difficult, honestly. I think both are excellent players. If you're talking about scoring wise, I really do think Matthews is the better player. If you're talking about skill wise, I will say Matthew Barzell. Um, remember when Pajot tried to fight. Uh, Boyle. B-O-Y-L-E. Uh, Boyle. Uh, and he didn't try to fight him. He was just being an ass. He was like, he, was, he just like was trying to make him flinch. Just to be an, just to make a laugh. Honestly, that's what I love about Pazger. Matthews is a good, great two-way player. Yeah, that's something that um, Barzell definitely has to work on is his two-way play. Uh, I heard John scream, scream about his defensive positioning before, so you know what? Uh, but yeah, definitely. Get John to come to the new arena. I would love that, Jacob. I would love for John to come to... What about it, John? Come to the new arena. <laughs> but this trade was phenomenal for us tonight. I really do think this was a phenomenal trade. We gave him basically like Bridgeport scrubs. No offense to Greer and Yopst. But I do believe that was... This was a great trade by Lou. This And everyone's like, oh, well, the offseason about signing Palmieri. I, I'm not concerned about signing them. They're UFAs. That's not our, it's not what we're focusing on. We're focusing on the cup run and trying to get every asset possible to making it happen. Moment of silence for the Devils. Honestly, it was kind of... I understand Devils fans upset. These are two players who have really meant a lot to them over the past years. Uh, you've been with them a long time. Uh, but they have to, they have to reset. They have to 
work from the ground up and picks and young pro uh, prospects are definitely uh, a way to do that. You should wear it first jersey. Who is Yopst? Never heard of him. Uh, Prince Chicken Wings. Yopst is a... I believe he's a forward. He's a... We signed him a year or two ago. Uh, uh, he he's plays in... Uh, uh, don't, I'm not sure if he plays in Bridgeport yet. I think he plays in Bridgeport. Uh, but Mason Yopst. Uh, funny part is, I think his father followed me on Twitter. <laughs> um, but he's, he's just a young prospect, honestly. Uh, but uh, nothing that has been, really been eye-catching... Uh, as far as I've seen. Uh, okay. I think they did, 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 did. I think Lou's done, though. I think Lou is done. Hey, what's up, Leafs fan 45? Um, uh, that's a death wish, <laughs> Honestly, I was there the other night, and someone was wearing a Tavares Islanders jersey at the Islanders game, and I, honestly, I, I was thinking in my head, dude, do you even know the Islanders? But, like... <laughs> People do it. People do it. I don't know why, but people did it. Uh, but I think everyone in their head was silently saying to that guy, like, dude. Marco, I'm so over that, that whole situation. It, do or don't. I'm very, I'm very past it. I'm not even gonna go into it. Lou does, gives no heads up on what's happening. Absolutely, Prince. I, Jordan Addy once told me that he, like, canceled a transaction because word got leaked about the transaction before it could be finalized. Like, something like that. Like, Lou makes everything private until it's a done deal. So, you know what? I would rather not hear and have it as a done deal than hear about it early and then not have it happen. So... That's... I could see that too, Nick. I could see Pajot moving to a wing and seeing, uh... Zajac moving to the center. Were you an angry Islanders fan? Honestly, I was a laughing one. <laughs> I was at the Islanders return game. I, I was too, and it still makes me laugh to this day. So, Kyle's gonna have to shave his beard. Yep. Rip Kyle Palmieri's beard. May it rest in peace. Lou ain't gonna let that fly. <laughs> Are my streaming Sunday? I will be doing the pod. Yes. Lots of options to correct in Isles 90. Yeah, exactly. Toy department. But yeah, rest in pieces, Kyle Palmieri beard. <laughs> He's gonna be a clean shaven boy, baby face boy. Pajot should be second line. In terms of talent, yes. But honestly, seniority on this team and how everything's going with chemistry, he's, it's the same thing with the fourth line. The fourth line's not even technically really a fourth line. You know, the fourth line plays better than a fourth line. Honestly, you could, it's, it's, to say it's like a fourth line, uh, compared to other fourth lines, it's not doing it justice. Uh, same thing with the third. In the game and I went and leave specific- Okay, sh Addy, shush. <laughs> Am I doing Friday's game? Dominic, I will not, um, I'm trying to see if I can get out of work. I would love to stream it. I'll see what I can do. Trade was great for the Islanders? Absolutely. You still have zero chance of winning the cup? I don't agree with that at all. I don't agree with that at all. I really think this b boosts our- I can't say boost. <laughs> boosts our chance to winning a cup. I really do think this gives us that much more of an oomph of playing just that much harder. Uh, I would say we are cup contenders. God, that's scary saying. That is really scary saying. Play on the same Kim, why doesn't Wallstrom play in the same line as Barzell? Honestly, a lot of people have been dying to see that happen. But I don't know. Maybe he just needs a little bit more development before playing with someone like Barzell. Uh, Chemistry-wise, uh, finding each other on the ice. They're both very fast players. Uh, I don't know what Barzell would... Be. I don't know. I don't know how that worked. Would I like to see it? Yeah. Uh, as far as things are going with lines, I would want Wallstrom to stay third right now to test out Paul Marion Zajac. Goalkeepers might be an issue if we play multiple nights in the playoffs. Well, yeah. I th well, that's with every team, though. Honestly, though, like, I I'm really solid. With I feel really good about our goaltenders. I love Var Varlamov. If you guys did not see him when he played against the Capitals this past game, he was dialed in. Like, he was just, it was freaking, like, Terminator with, like, the, you know, the pinpoint, you know, precision stuff. Like, Varlamov was, like, when he's dialed in, 
nothing was getting past him that night. And he was, there was plays where I'm like, that should have gone in, but Varlamov made an incredible save. And you know what? I have to give it to Vanacek too, because he had a great night. You know, luckily Nelson was there for that rebound, but man, like, I'm so, I have so much confidence in Semyon Varlamov and I'm getting there with Sorokin. Where do I think Hall gets traded to? I don't know. I don't know who's going to pay the, the price. And literally, Dreger tweeted out that they still want a first and a prospect for him. And I just I don't see it happen. I just don't see that happening. Islanders not making it to the Stanley Cup Finals. No chance. Well, Marco, we'll see in a few months. Do you want a backup goalie? We do have Schneider, who's uh, third string. Did you see Sorokin's little celly? Of course I saw Sorokin's little celly. That little... When he won the shootout? That was amazing. How shocking is that we met but never seen a game yet together? I know. I know. Well, you took my tickets. I couldn't go. You took the ticket. Uh, I don't just play really with the goaltending tandem. I, exactly. I'm not too concerned. But we also had Thomas Grice who, you know, he's used to that playoff atmosphere. I'm curious about how Sorokin will be. I was on the road to Carolina that day. Ah. Imagine if he goes to the Blue Jackets. Uh, rip. Rip. I mean, the Blue Jackets, I mean, are a mess as it is right now. But yet, somehow, in some way, and I saw it last night, the Blue, Cat the Blue Jackets still seem to be the kryptonite for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, they won again against the Ta uh, against Tampa. I, I don't know what it's about CBJ, but they do not, the Tampa Bay Lightning do not like them. <laughs> Who's the oldest player on the Islanders? Good question. Who is the oldest player? Andy Green? I think Andy Green. Um, I know about... Vancouver's been on COVID protocol for like a while now. I like how everyone just put in Andy Green. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Greener, yeah. The history teacher that is a hockey player. <laughs> We've been playing well but just can't bury shots. Eichel for line A. Poor, I mean, poor line. <laughs> I say I had to choose between Mets and Islanders, and I chose Islanders, but I... W hey, the Mets won. I did see that. I saw the game after when I went to the diner after the game. Greener and Zay... Yeah, Z I think Andy Green is 38, and Zay Jack's 35. Could be wrong about Green's age, but I think Green is like 37, 38. Could be a devil family reunion. Facts. Absolutely facts. That's why people are making the jokes tonight. The New York Devlinders. But honestly, it brings the chemistry. It works. Let's do it. I think Giroux is your oldest. He's still sinking goals, though. CBJ is just unpleasant to play against. And Cooper never seems to adjust anything against Tortorella. Well, because it works for every other team in the NHL. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, John. Green 38. Oh, I was right. Let's go. Yo, thank you. Thank you. The Mets won. Yeah, I know. Especially when they uh, they had um, those guys on the on basement. How about Florida Blue Jackets? <laughs> what? I think Patrick Laine should go back to Winnipeg. Poor Laine, man. Poor Laine. New York Devils and New Jersey Islanders. Um... Let's see, Mets lost today. Aw. I well obviously Liney's under Tortorella and Tortorella's really not just not giving it for Line. Does Lou wanna fight with snow? <laughs> okay. Did Tampa Bay get destroyed by Detroit on national television? Didn't Tampa Bay? Um I don't know. I haven't really been paying attention that much to Tampa. But uh I mean my focus is the East. Possibly. He's saying that because the Panthers have uh, brought in a bunch... Oh, okay. Yeah. Honestly, and he's, it's been working. I mean, Florida's been doing... I mean, they just lost to the Hurricanes, but Florida... <laughs> Florida is the biggest, like, dark horse I think I've seen this year. I don't know about you guys. Florida, to me, has been the biggest surprise. In my, in my personal opinion, F the Florida Panthers have been the biggest surprise. Same with the Suns and the Leafs players. Ottawa Maple Leafs. <laughs> Uh, I, I, you know what was funny? I'm going to be talking about it. I did not know this until, uh, someone tweeted about it last night, but the New York Islanders are the only team 
to shut out the Capitals. I did not know that. We're the only team that has shut out the the uh, Capitals. Now, the only team who has not been shut out in regulation is the Ottawa Senators. Fun fact. Which I found really interesting. It was Steve Dangle who tweeted it. That's who tweeted it. Uh, about uh, the Senators and stuff like that. But I was like, what? And now John put it in the chat. <laughs> I hate the Red Wings. I, I, I got a little love for the Red Wings because Thomas Grice is there, but... I felt so bad when he lost in shootout the other night to the Nashville Predators, man. I was like, no, the Chrysler. Never underestimate the Tampa Bay Rangers. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man, when you guys were bringing in Rangers left and right, man, that was hilarious. <laughs> the New York Rangers of the Tampa Bay Lightning's farm team. <laughs> the Sens are cup contenders. <laughs> Datsuk. He's, isn't he still playing in the KHL? Datsuk? God, I'd kill to see him play again. Defensive... D d d d d yeah. Grice has statistically been worst goalie in the NHL this year. Well, look at the team he's on! <laughs> just just gotta put that out there. <laughs> By the way, Robin Leonard is 10-1-2. Robin! 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 <laughs> 10 one and two. I mean, yes, he did have the concussion, so he's been out. But hey, still. Hey. <laughs> he retired? Aw. Uh, played on Golishev's team in the KHL and put up more points than him this year. Wait, did he retire? Or... Don't remind me, says Darkness. Jack is 10 0 0. Okay, okay, Leafs fan. Robin best goalie in the NHL. Leonard Finn. I know you. I know, girl. I know Natalie. Mets' first win of the season was 8 4. Islanders won 8. Was 8 4. Islanders won 8 4. Oh. You should have heard Capo Caco said Laffy. The way Capo Caco said Laffy yesterday. I did not hear the way he said Laffy. I'm a CBG fan. CBJ fan, and it's tough, man. Oh. I, I honestly feel so bad for you and the torts. I really don't see. Torts lasting the end after this season. I really, CBJ really should get rid of Torts. Honestly, he's he's making him sink ship, man. That Leonard Wall is over a grand. It is not Jacob. It is not. Um, I'll tell you why. Um, Ottawa Jersey. Believe odd between the the Ottawa Jersey was a gift. No, the Chicago jersey was a gift, the Vegas jersey was a gift, and the Islanders jersey were a gift. The gift. The only two jerseys I paid for were the Ottawa one and the Leonard one. The 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 uh, Sa uh Sabres one. The Sabres one cost me eighty dollars. The um Ottawa one cost me, I believe, one twenty, or one hundred actually. It actually cost me one hundred. So in total, that wall costs one hundred eighty dollars. Somewhere in that range, one hundred eighty to two hundred. Smart thinking. <laughs> Three of those jerseys, though, were lovely gifts. So, thank you to everyone. You know who you are. <laughs> but, uh, Torts is gone after this year. I really do hope so. Torts, to me, I hated him when he was on the Rangers, but I, I don't like him. I, like, Torts can be a coach. He just... He gets too... He gets too fiery, if you know what I'm talking about. He just gets too into his own head. Pretty bad trade for Jersey. Good for the Islanders, though. Do I play hockey? No, Marco. Just a huge fan. Been watching all of my life. And I got great fa uh, uh, family and friends who do play hockey. Who, you know, just growing up gave me insight into the game and how to watch it. So, you know what? I try my best. Oh my gosh, Toy Department Rickle. <laughs> that bad basically ran Sean Avery out of the league. That's the only thing I'll give him credit for, thank God. <laughs> the Leonard jerseys are priced. The only priceless Leonard jersey I have there is the Islanders one signed by him. So that jersey to me is absolutely priceless. I would not sell it for the world. Do I live on Long Island? Thank you for saying on Long Island and yes, Lefty. 
Chicago should have uh, traded Crawford and kept Leonard. Absolutely, Zach. Honestly, I know a lot of Chicago fans were really, really pissed about losing Robin Leonard, and I know how that feels. Uh, and I really do think they made the wrong move there. Do I skate? No. No, I don't skate. Oh, God. I'm like Bambi. The trade is so good for the Devils long term, but good for the Anders. Exactly, Brad. You know what? We're both going to, in the end, both teams are going to benefit from this. Uh, we'll see more with the Devils as time progresses, but the Islanders needed to do this now. They needed to do this now. Yeah, I know, Bear. <laughs> but they needed to do this now, so I really do... Uh, love that. I can't believe I've been streaming for 50 minutes. Oh my god. I meant to do this. I'm not even joking for 10 to 20 minutes. And I've literally been streaming for 50. <laughs> Who is my favorite player? Uh, depends. Who are you talking about? Uh, Islanders or all time? Do you have a Toronto Leonard jersey? No. No, because he was on it for like two minutes. It doesn't count. Doesn't count. And I'm, I'm broke, so... <laughs> Unless, uh, if Jersey gets, like, a Gretzky, f I, psh, no one's ever getting a Gretzky again. A Gretzky, <laughs> no. Uh, Islander. Um, right now, my favorite Islander, Casey Sezikis and JG Paggio are tied for my top. Uh, Casey, I've been a fan since I was 10 years old. I love his grit. I love his, uh, hard work and determination on the ice. Always a great four checker. Uh, insane PKer. Um, and same thing with JG Paggio, a guy with a lot of grit. Um, will put up, you know, throw down the mitts if need be, but also another, um, just a great guy to, you know, have on the ice, someone you can really depend upon and will always put 100% into every play. No, Rick, oh my god. Get an Islander Wayne Gretzky? But he never played on the Islanders. <laughs> Why would I get an Islander Wayne? Bobby Orr. Man, what a guy. Orr's such a legend. No one wants a challenge. Tim, you know, it'd be limited to just, uh, can we, can we get an Oreo Selly? Or a Snapple Fact? Toy Department Sunday Snapple Fact will be coming your way. Oreo Selly? I'll do it for the next stream. I'll do it for the next stream. What about Barzy? I love Barzy. Is he my absolute favorite though? No. I do like other players more. But I love him. I still love him. It's just like, if I'm going to talk about my favorite player in terms of uh, work ethic, grit, and um, loyalty. It's gonna be Casey Zizekas. Tons of Matthew and uh, uh, tons of Austin Matthews jerseys. I'm guessing. Favorite Jet, Winnipeg Jet or New Jersey Jet? <laughs> New Jersey Jet. Oh my God, New York Jet. <laughs> That's what I meant. Oh my God. I'm calling Paul Mary or Zajac. I've always liked Maddie Martz. Dropping the he he's turned into a goal scorer this year. <laughs> Barzy's hat trick though. Well, just, I was there when it happened. God damn, that end to end goal was se was sexy, man. That end to end goal by Barzell was one of the most sexiest plays I've seen live. And I'm not I'm not, I'm not downplaying this. Like I saw him go from behind the aisles night, and I was like. And honestly, I screamed, do it yourself, Barzy, because honestly, he can. And he showed that he can. Because when I saw him just whip, or like, turnstile Zidane Chara, like, damn. Damn. <laughs> Who's my favorite Rangers baseball? In, like, the, like, the Rangers baseball team? What? Dude, <laughs> shut up, Rickle. You're popping off in the stands for that Nick, man. My favorite player, is it Ryan Pollock? Keeps getting robbed. Ryan Pollock can't buy a goal this season. It's been ridiculous. What was the first NHL game I went to? I don't know, Zach, because I was in diapers, so I don't remember it. <laughs> I don't know because I was too young. <laughs> I envy someone I always can go to. Uh, lefty, I'm trying to keep that up. I'm trying to go to as many games as physically possible. Who is my favorite Texas Ranger? I don't know. Why are you guys pulling out other sports on me, man? <laughs> All the posts that were hit last game. Oh, tell me about it. I, I could still hear the ding off the post from last game. How many posts did we hit, guys? Like three, four? It felt like seven or eight, though. How many damn posts we hit last game? It was ugh, nuts. I hate when... Oh, my gosh. 
Do you know Frankie from Barstool? Uh, Brandon Sakura, yes. I do know Frankie uh, Borelli from Barstool Sports. Yes, I know he's an insane Islanders fan. Um, fun fact, my mom taught him. My mom was his teacher in middle school. If you want a, some, a fun fact, my mom was Frankie, Frankie Borelli's middle school teacher. So, uh, fun. I actually got to meet him at the Anders Lee Cancer Jam event. Um, and I, I, I got to talk to him a little bit. He, um, my first impressions of, uh, Frankie Borelli, he kind of, like, didn't want anything to do with me. Like, I, like, I said hi, and he was, like, courteous, like, hey, how you doing? But, like, he really felt like, I felt like he really did not want to talk to me. So, it's like, oh, okay, nice to meet you, bye. Like, it, it felt very awkward. <laughs> Thanks, John. I love the Islanders Apple Watch band. Thanks, John. That's actually over there on my charger. Am I in high school? No. I'm the same age as John. I'm in my last year of college. Do you like Elvis or Corpy more? Um, Merce Lincolns or Corpusalo? I mean, Corpusalo, honestly, to me, has been having those highlight reel saves this year. I think I like Corpy. I think I like Corpy a little bit more. Sponsored by the Panda Express. Choo choo. <laughs> He was nervous because maybe, maybe, uh, no, John, no. <laughs> He's a literal girlfriend. What the freak are you talking about? Oh, shut up, N Natalie. <laughs> Do I listen to metal music? Sometimes, Matthew. It depends on the metal. Who's my least favorite team? New York Rangers. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Uh, Corpus Allo has the most buttery name of our time. <laughs> I hope so, Patrick. <laughs> Elvis Presley. No, Elvis Merz Lincolns. Please take care of the MVP. So, yo, we got Neil in here. Palms and Zajag, man. Yo, MVP show right there. We just recorded for an... I, I said this at the beginning of the stream, Neil, so don't be mad. Uh, Neil and I just recorded for an hour. 9 to 10 o'clock. We just recorded for an hour for his... Devil State of Mind podcast. I will be retweeting that on Twitter, so definitely check that guys out. We have our raw reactions, a Devil and Islanders fan coming together to talk about that trade, so definitely go and check that out. Do I like Artemi Panarin? Yeah, he's a good player. I just he just needs to cut the the, the hair. My mom had an NHL player in her class who picks who picked his nose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully he grew out of it. <laughs> What's the best hockey chirp in your opinion? The best hockey chirp. One of my favorites I think I've ever heard was Claude Giroux and Maddie Martz. Uh, Claude Giroux. <laughs> Just like <laughs> the way he said it and the way he did it. He was like, you, you fucking pigeon. He's like, <laughs> and he goes right as he's came back. <laughs> and I just started laughing my ass off. Uh, another one is obviously Maddie Martz. I forget who he was talking to. But he's like, go sit in the minors. And Matt Martin was like, you were in the minors longer than me, you dumb fuck. <laughs> and he's like, don't do stupid shit. And Matt Martin went, go dye your hair. <laughs> and it was, it's my favorite shirt. Maddie Martz, go, go dye your hair. Yeah, there's all the Islanders fans coming with it. Who, <laughs> Yo, if Neil had to get an Islanders jersey, he would absolutely get Corey Schneider. I know 100% certainty he would get Corey Schneider. Where's Jordan Sunshine tonight? Probably sleeping, because he... Pro I think he had work today. I remember I went to my first game and screamed, you suck to Steve Mason, and he pretty sure you heard it because he looked up. <laughs> Damn! What's up, Rody? Uh, the New Jersey Devil... The New York Devils 2.0. <laughs> I know, I've been hearing that all night, man. Facts, please give me one Isles fa See, I told you, MV I told you Neil would want that. I told you, Neil would... He's going Corey Schneider. I know who he loves. I know what's his boy is Corey Schneider. The Devils should be the new AHL team for the Islanders. <laughs> As the Rangers are the AHL team for the Lightning, the Devils are now our new AHL team. You are correct. Corby <laughs> um, lets in goals at the worst times. But god damn, does he make some saves. Gotta give him credit for his paddle saves, man. God damn. Corey Jersey from my birthday, fam. Yo, Neil, when is your birthday? I gotta, I gotta remember that. 
Whoa, NZA. The pigeon was Van Riemsdyk, Kim, not Martin? No, I... The pigeon was done by Giroux. That was Giroux. I will bet you a hundred bucks it was Giroux. I'm telling you right now. It was not Van Riemsdyk. And Maddie Martz was... I was talking about the go-dyer hair. Going to the game tomorrow. Yes, I am, Hunter. I will be there. Section 215. Come find me. Say hi. I don't mind. Jeru said it to JVR. Yes. Uh, Corpy, Elvis, or Bobrovsky? Well, the way Bobrovsky's been playing with freaking... Florida's been in nuts. So I'm gonna say Bobrovsky. Um, I'm an Isles fan, and I absolutely adore the Capitals and Pink... What? An Islanders fan who adores the Capitals and Penguins? I've never heard that before. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> That's interesting. Hopefully the fans tomorrow will give a nice welcome if, Pal uh, if Palms and Zadra. Oh, Hunter, definitely. I've, hopefully we hear they will be in the lineup tomorrow. I'm going to make them a welcome sign if they are. Because they deserve a nice... Well, I did it for... If you guys remember, I did it for... um. JG Pajot. Um, and hold up. I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, I'm gonna get it out of my- hold on, I gotta grab it. Hold up! Here it is. Here it is. And if you guys remember, uh, I did a welcome JG Pajot sign before COVID struck. February 25th, 2020. Got- I literally have- Oh my god, I literally wrote the wrong name on the bottom. <laughs> I literally wrote the wrong name on the bottom here. I gotta fix that. But I caught this puck from Pajot. This was Pajot's first game as a New York Islander. And I caught this puck from him. And it really, it's, it still means a hell of a lot to me. It still means a hell of a lot to me. But JG Pajot saw the sign I made for him in warm-ups and threw me this puck. So... Damn, it means a lot to me. Did I switch the names? I actually, yeah. <laughs> I I was I was rushing this day and I switched the tape by accident. That's my fault. Got to fix this. I accidentally put the wrong name tape on the wrong puck. But yeah, I got to fix this. <laughs> okay, this goes here. I can't believe I screwed that up. I'm a dummy. Woo! Okay, hold on. Let's fix this puck. There we go. There we go. See, it says, caught from Barzell. And this one says, caught from Pajot. My birthday is June 15th. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. Now I know. Okay. Okay, and I got this on this puck. This puck caught from Pajot. Where's tape to tape when you need him? <laughs> Probably yelling at his Vegas Golden Knights. But uh, this is the puck I caught in 2018 uh, against the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, I caught this one from Barzy himself. Uh, he threw it over the glass. I was lucky enough to pick it up. So I have two picked up. Pajot, Barzell. Uh, so let me go put these away in my uh, puck case. If you guys didn't see as well, uh, for Easter, I just got a signed Oliver Wallstrom puck. So I'm very excited to add that to my puck collection up there. Absolutely despised Tavares, so he does not like his... I, honestly, I'm neutral. I really don't give a sh crap anymore. Uh, it's just like a it's just like a joke at this point to like joke about it. But honestly, I don't really have any hate towards Tavares. I sent you the pigeon video. <laughs> I I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> Are you one of the da da da? I hope Palmieri resigns. I don't see how we're gonna do it. I don't see how we're going to actually re-sign Palmieri, so I'm not saying we will. 
Tavares got way more Ferris when he famous when he went to Tavares. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know Tavares went to Tavares. Uh, Kim has more respect for JT than most Leafs fans I know. Oh, there you go, Addy. Yeah, true, Matthew. Very true. I have a puck signed by Borinsky and Jones. Oof. Nice. I like the Warinsky one, definitely. Talk about that 8 Yeah, that 8 4 win. Uh, talk about it. I'll be talking about that more on the podcast Sunday when I do my pod. Uh, by the way, that's going to be at like 10 20 ish uh, Sunday night. Paul Mary is going to sign with the Habs. I could, I, whoever gives him his money. I think wherever Paul Mary is going to get his money is where he'll go. I know, Marco. I'm just joking. They could possibly fit Paul Mary. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's wherever he's going to get the money, is my opinion. Wherever Paul Mary's going to get the money next season, I think is where he'll go. Go dye your hair. Drew Miller. That's who got it. Thank you. What's the best hockey beard I have seen? Um, Brent Burns, definitely up there. Joe Thornton before he shaved it. Um, but Thornton, Burns, and honestly, uh, Nick Letty. If you guys did not see Nick Letty when he had his beard, it's pretty nice. He grows a nice beard, I gotta say. Gotta give it to Nick Letty. He's got a nice scruffy uh, big black beard. I caught a puck from Brian Rust, even though I hate him. <laughs> I was right behind the Penn's bench, so I asked for... Ah, hey, that was nice. That's nice of Rust. Jumbo Joe! <laughs> Clark Gillies had a great beard. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. You know who had a, b a better mustache, though? Bobby Nystrom. <laughs> yeah, no, Nick Letty has insane fly 5 o'clock shadow. Voracek has a good playoff year. Voracek? Is it Voracek? Yeah. Voracek looks like Gritty. Tell me I'm wrong. Voracek looks like Gritty. John says, okay, bye everyone. Seven likes. Support the hockey community. Hey, yo, John. Thanks so much, man, for the raid. You know what? They always support John. Thanks so freaking much for everything. I'm actually going to wrap it up, too, because I got school work to do. So, um, I'm going to wrap this up. But, uh, yeah, Voracek looks like Gritty. Like, tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> with his scruff, you know, with his red hair, he, he looks like Gritty. I think it's Voracek. I think it's Voracek. Yes, it's Voracek. His beard, come on! Guys, the beard. Is a Gritty beard. <laughs> T how does that not look- uh, Come on! It is Voracek. How is that? Come on. The resemblance. <laughs> Come on. I'm studying nursing in college. Do we can help? John needs a playoff beard? Facts. Uh. <laughs> Gritty the greatest mascot. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm going to say about that. But guys, thanks for joining me for the stream. I wanted to do a quick trade stream since this was so big for the New York Islanders. I had to get my, my two cents in there for you guys. I appreciate everyone coming in, stopping in. I did not expect to do this for an hour and ten, but I appreciate everyone coming in and having a good time talking with me about the, the New York Islanders here. I uh, appreciate everyone who came from John's stream and stayed. Everyone who slapped a leg. I really do appreciate you guys coming to the channel and saying hi. John's a great streamer. I mean, he's twice as good as me, so I'm sorry I'm not up to his aptitude, but I appreciate you guys coming through. Uh, I talk New York Islanders Hockey here, I do New York Islander streaming. Uh, if you guys have seen me before, I've been on John's streams a little bit. He's been on mine. Uh, but guys, thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate that, Andrew. But guys, I hope you had a happy Easter. I'll talk to you next Sunday about Islanders. We're going to go over this trade again. We're going to go more into Islanders hockey. This was longer than an average podcast. Yeah, I know. It went, it went late tonight. You guys got to... You know, I had to make it up because I didn't do a podcast this last Sunday. But yeah. And yeah, you'll be good, bud. You'll be good. But guys, thanks so much, guys. Uh, I will see you next time. Make sure to slap that like. I am Isles Girl 3. My name's Kim. Thanks for coming through, guys. I'll see you soon. Peace. Let's go, Islanders.